Hey, hey, I'm Michelle. And I'm Ronald. And you're listening to? The Middle School Ministry Podcast. Michelle, how was that video I just sent you? Oh, Ron, this is one of my favorite things at the moment. (laughs) This is hilarious. um, Another youth pastor buddy of mine, since we're all like uh, COVID quarantined, uh, was like, hey, you got to check out this app. It's called Sway. And it turns anyone into a fantastic dancer because I am not a fantastic dancer. I But that video. Mm. I like to pretend I am. And so this is just going to blow everything out of the water. I'm so excited. So like you, you either put the camera like on a flat surface somewhere and you get like stay in this square box and you just move your body around a ton of different ways. And then it will take that one it's like a 30 second video and it can turn it into like 30 dances it's hilarious oh i we're gonna have to do something with this like we're gonna have to start some sort of page or dym oh, yeah. post with people's I'm thinking you can, thing oh totally and then you can like you could get uh like your leaders to do it or like your middle school students and then you could vote oh and then you could vote on your next youth group live of who had the best one. That could be fun. <gasps> that could be really fun. There you go. Oh my That's gosh. What you do. Because your students are bored. They need some levity. They need some fun. Students are bored. You might be bored. I'm kind of bored. Are, we are all definitely bored. Michelle, <laughs> if you're not you're, bored yet, you're, you're going to become bored. Because you've been, the, you've been doing this for a month. Yeah, we've been, we've been at a month now. Question: Can you uh, can not, you like not go pull the court team, But can you like go outside for a walk? Like, does that count? You can, yeah. So they they let you like go outside. Let you like we can. I mean, no one's like watching us or anything like that. But yeah, we, we, we like went to the park, um, and like played basketball for a second. Me and my husband. Um, so you can go on oh. walks. It's just you have to try and keep that social distancing. Um, so mm. still staying six feet apart from people. Um, I mean, anytime we go in or outside, like we're washing our hands. Um, yeah. and doing all that good stuff. So there's, there's definitely this like feeling of you probably shouldn't go out, but everyone's like, we need to go out. <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah, it, we've, so it's just been like a week since they've been starting to shut stuff down, uh, here in Texas in San Antonio. And like, we've gone out to the park a couple of times, like as a family, just to kind of like move our bones as we yeah. say. That's what I was like, and, especially, uh, you know, yeah, you guys with kids, like. Yes. That three you got to get out of the house, right? Him. Yes. Because if they stay cooped up in the house all day, it gets bad. It yeah. gets bad fast. And I, I'm like, I would talk to a couple of families in like San Francisco. There's not a ton of backyard space or things like that. And so a lot of them that live in apartments, they're like, we just send our kids to the street. <laughs> wow. It's We're like, back go to the, the, go to the Yeah. We're in the 80s now where you just send your kids outside and say, yep. just come back in when the, when the street lights come on. That's the yep. thing. It's, you know, it was great. I was like, good. I don't think that's going to be a bad thing. No, absolutely not. Because uh, it's so hard. So it's hard when all the things that you're used to doing, you can't or you can't do, you're being asked not to do. And yeah. a lot of that is like connection. Like, oh, yeah. I normally go to the gym like every day. I go to the gym five days out of the week oh, and wow. I have some buddies who I see at the gym and it was just like one day the gym was open. The next day gym is closed. Nobody can go inside. Oh yeah. Even so like our like, apartment gym complex, like they were like, yeah, no. Oh man. But so yeah, like, I was talking to my friend Katie and we we're like, we love like going to coffee shops and stuff. And we're like, we can't even do that. Like that was like our one time of like being able to be around people and yeah. just be outside. And we're like, oh so I'm going to go wave to my neighbor from our porch. Hey, over there. Yeah. So, okay, Michelle, what are you doing then to stay connected uh, in COVID quarantine life? Like with middle school students, with leaders, with other people, like what are you, what are you, what are you doing? Yeah, this is, I mean, this is definitely a learning concept. Um, for me, I think for a lot of people right now is what do we do? Um, and so one of the big things that we're trying to utilize is, you know, social media platforms, Instagram, uh, Twitter. Uh, I'm contemplating on downloading Snapchat right now. Uh, oh, no. I've not been a big fan of Snapchat, but I know so many of our students are on it. So it's come to that. It's come to it's come to that point. Uh, 
But yeah, I think Instagram has been one of our biggest things. Just texting students and saying, hey, how are you? Um, yeah. Has been really big. Um, I, I've championed all of my leaders to uh, contact their students at least once a week outside of Tuesday meetings um, so that they're at least getting some sort of communication with their students. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been difficult. It's been really hard. How, how have you guys been able to to at least start that process yeah no we've been um it's been a start of telling leaders like hey try to be connected somehow Mm -hmm. uh so like hey like try to you know try to text a student try to uh email a student actually one of the things that um high school pastor said he was going to do which i think is great is he just said, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write notes for like 10 minutes. Mm. Just hand write notes and That's mail them. That's a really good people. idea too. Because you keep those, you keep those, um, you keep those handwritten notes. Yeah. That's a thing. Oh yeah. I still remember uh, I, like getting something in the mail, especially as a student or as a kid, like you don't get mail. And so when you actually do get mail, it's pretty fun. Yeah. And so, so handwritten notes is definitely a thing. We actually, we had prizes. Uh, I saw something. You guys literally emailed or, uh, literally put the prize in the mail. Yeah. So we gave away, we gave away things on our YouTube live and we put stuff in the mail. That's amazing. Um, I love, I I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a couple other people that were like, Hey, we're going to send a pizza to your house right now. Hey, no, that's a good idea. Like, I was like food. that's hilarious. So like, hey, the small group that does this, here's your, you know, you can do a food. Yeah, no, that that's a really fun idea. So like yeah. trying to implement the things that are still open and allowed. Yeah. yeah. And, that, and that's the hard thing for us. Like, because small groups can't even be together right now. So small groups are yeah. all meeting through, you know, Zoom, Google Hangout, Google Meet, whatever platform you use. Uh, and of course, you know, quality isn't always great on video chatting stuff. So that's when I think it's key to make sure we're talking to students outside of that um, and really being able to talk with them one on one of, hey, how are you actually doing with all of this? Yeah, because even just asking that question, how are you today? Yeah. Or even how are you right now? Like when this when we were getting ready to do our first like Zoom online hangout like I just got a hold of all the leaders and just said, Hey, how are you? You know? And there was some who were like, I'm so stressed because work and yada, yada, yada. And there I had a couple who were like, no, I'm good. I'm fine. Nothing's wrong. I go, okay. (laughs) Right. They're like, yeah, we're chilling. I'm like, Oh, cool. Okay. Basically. But you, you know, our students are going to run the same gambit of emotions. You're like, you're going to have some students who this is the worst thing ever because they can't see their friends. Right. And then you're going to have other students who are like, yeah, you know, it's fine. I'm yeah. just on YouTube and I'm playing video games all day long. Right. You're like, cool. So you've been doing this your whole life anyways. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> nothing has literally nothing has changed. Yeah. But yeah, I think that that's one of the hard things is as it gets more and more secure where it's like, Hey, you don't leave your home. Um, I think it's just going to get harder and harder to, to keep connecting with students, unfortunately. And yeah. we have to put in that extra effort of actually going in and making the calls like I, I used to be able to go and meet with like three or four students and hang out with them at a time whereas now it's okay I have to call each and every individual student remember that they're still in school mm-hmm. so they're still going to be doing school work so I don't want to like mess that up um, and like finding those times to do that but also one of the big things I think I don't ever want to miss is you know we partner with parents and yes. so for, for me, it's, I went and I, we have a Facebook page for parents and it was just parents. How are you? Oh man. Um, and so I, I was able to connect with a couple of them on there who were like homeschooling sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I did not sign up for this. Yeah. And they're just like, but we're pulling through, we're making it. Um, but you know, like checking in on them too, cause this is new for them as well. Yeah. I literally, yesterday it was my day off yesterday and literally just sat down for about an hour and a half trying to figure out all the apps that my kids teachers are sending them yeah. like okay 
So uh, we got a, this app for this kid and these two for these over here. And maybe we can do it this way. And right. do we just you need to go pick up the physical paper packet? And so, oh man, it's just been nuts. Yeah, I, I just can't like, because we don't have kids or anything yet, I'm just like blown away by how much you guys are doing. And like, man, you guys are doing amazing things. Uh, like trying to to pull all of this stuff off while you know taking care of kids trying to teach your kids trying to yeah parents are overwhelmed right like your kids kids are overwhelmed and our parents are overwhelmed i think well ansley higginbotham had a great great post oh my gosh i loved her post yeah on on the youthgroup.downloadyouthministry.com website which tons of free stuff if you need help with anything put it up there if something has worked well for your youth group put it up there too uh huge 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 that's going on but she just had a quick reminder of like hey youth pastor it's okay if you need to slow down yeah parents need to slow down too and so just a great reminder for everybody of like hey it's good to connect it's good to innovate it's good to challenge Mm -hmm. but also take an opportunity to rest yeah. Like take an opportunity to sit and reflect and think. That's not a bad thing. Yeah, this and is so, not going to be over next no. week. Like this is this is a long haul, and and this is where we really have to come and be the church and um, be a help and not a burden. Yeah. To to families, yeah. I think. And and we have a great opportunity to yeah. do that. And so I think if we if we do it well. Um, I think if we do it well, we could end up on the other side of this more connected <laughs> than we are right now and have maybe a plan or a better strategy for staying connected. Totally. I think, yeah, like with having so many apps now and having different ways of connecting with our students, like I don't think that's going to go away once this is all over. Like I think no, as, and, as a and church, we have to figure out how to utilize this now and after. Yeah, like even even we were thinking, hey, do we is it time for our youth group to get a Discord channel because that's something that we can do to, like I don't I don't know what that is, but I'm doing research on it. Somebody was one of my students was telling me about Discord, and I was like, I don't know what this is. But it's like an old old school app, old school chat room (laughs) that's like dedicated for and used a lot by gamers because I think you can still be chatting while you're playing a game. I don't. I don't understand it all. I'm just going to go research it a lot this weekend. <laughs> oh, for sure. That's interesting. That could be, that could be something. So yeah. another, another potential, another potential way to reach out to your students, but also moderate that chat room because, oh, yeah. <laughs> because you're, you know, your students feel like they can say anything, which is good and also bad. Right. Like every, yeah. yeah. And that was, you know, one of the things that we were teaching right before all of this was our sex and dating series. And so we had to pull back on that because uh, it was just super awkward to do over a YouTube live stream. Like I wanted to make sure that I was in person with my students and we had just right before it got to the um, series that we were going to talk about, Hey, what we do um, behind a screen online. And I was so yeah. bummed we didn't get to that because I'm like, this is literally where we're at is all they're all on right now is a screen and how they act behind the screen is going to do a lot of damage or hopefully give a lot really of hope, good. but <laughs> uh, hopefully the second option, not the yeah. first one. <laughs> yeah. No. And you're, and you're right. And it's still character still matters. You know, even, even though we are a part, you know, who, who you portray mm-hmm. is still important. Who you, who you tell people you are, it still matters. So, yeah. Those are good lessons. Good lessons to learn. I don't really. You're you're taking a break from the sex series because I was. We just are. About, man. Hmm. Yeah, we just didn't feel comfortable doing it through that. We really wanted it to be face to face. Yeah. Are you guys? Now are you guys still pushing through? I don't know. <laughs> so I, I technically we're going to record this Sunday. We're going to record a message for this Sunday. Like just a ten to fifteen minute. Hey, this is this is basically your Sunday youth message. Yeah, um, it's not going to be live. It's just going to be uploaded on Sunday, so it doesn't conflict with our main service. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now that you're now that we're talking about this, I'm kind of I don't maybe I want to do more like of a character, uh, yeah. a character yeah. thing. Than this so this is one of the main reasons why we decided. And I think this was really yeah. smart. What my my generations pastor told us this, and he was like, "You're going to talk about porn." 
to a screen yeah. where your sixth grader is watching and can easily open another tab in Google porn. You're not wrong. Yeah. And I was like, that's a really good point. That's the <sighs> easiest access. Yeah. To literally have them go and do that right now. So that was okay. one of the main reasons where we were like, you're right. We should probably pull back on this. Okay. I'm going to do something different. <laughs> I mean, Hey, if, yeah. I mean, go for it. Try it out. Um, well, and that, that's one of the benefits. I was like, it's, I know it's just going to be like a 10 minute lesson. Like it's just going to be yeah. a devotion almost, but it can still, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that was one of the things we thought too. We're like, Oh, we'll just pre-record all these and then post them on YouTube so they can go watch them, but we'll do something different on Sundays. And even that he was like, I was thinking that should be saved for when we can actually come back. I think you're right. So, yeah, uh, I, tr right. I trust him. He was my youth pastor. So I was like, I'm going to trust you. No, that's a good call. <laughs> that's a good call. But it's even still even. Okay. So that's even connection, right? You're getting ideas from other people about what to do and you're still talking. You're still sharing ideas. That's still, has, that's still important and something you can still do even from quarantine. Yeah. And I think more and more ideas are just going to start popping up. Uh, I mean, yeah. I look at the, the DYM channel on Facebook and there's just so many people that have done really incredible things so far. And I'm like, Oh, that's a really good idea. Yeah. I'm really encouraged by that. Yeah, man. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go think about what to do for our, our series now that everything's gotten crazy. <laughs> literally, I was just trying to survive until this Wednesday when we did our first live stream. That, live stream, was, that right? was us. And we were like, what do we do? We're like, we don't know. <laughs> Not a clue. We're, gonna so we're just going to get up there and we're going to do something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. And that's okay. Some, and that's okay. Like if that is your guys' week coming up and you're like, I just need to start, just be up there. Yeah. And yeah. honestly, you could just have an entirely fun morning or record a video of you guys just having fun, playing some games. Like our students love watching our leaders make fools of themselves. Mm. And yep, so right. if that's what you need to do for the first one, do it. And make then it you can, can set up a plan and go from there yeah oh man okay well goodness um i hope that you who are listening out there are remain remaining connected hey and maybe this is the time you reach out to other youth pastors in your local area mm -hmm. uh huge do a zoom, yeah. zoom conference call with them figure out what they're doing maybe it's a time for you to get that rolling now because you get some important to stay connected when we're all quarantined it's a thing yeah and don't feel, don't be afraid to try different ideas to connect with students um, some yes. students you're going to connect with differently than other students. Like I have a bunch yeah. of students who aren't on Instagram, so I have to do something different for them, but I have a lot who will only answer me on Instagram. Mm. So be it social media, mailing people stuff, or uh, starting a Discord channel, reach out to students. Make sure you're connected to them, to leaders, to parents. Don't lose that connection in this time of social distancing, right? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. But also protect don't yourself lose. as well. You know, you don't have to mm. be on there 24 seven either. Ooh, block out that time. Yep. Yeah. Stay. You have get to some protect rest. yourself. Mm, good words, Michelle. Yeah. All right, everybody. Stay strong. Wash your hands and uh, don't touch your face. <laughs> it's the hardest thing to do out of oh all this. God. Not to touch my face. And yeah. don't bite your nails. That's what I heard too. Because I'm a nail oh. biter. And they were like, don't bite your nails. Stop it, Michelle. I know. I need to go get like that nail polish that like people oh, use on like their the kids. Bad, the bad the bad tasting the one? Ba yeah. Like the bitter tasting stuff. Yep, that's a thing. Back to back to childhood. Oh, and we revert right now. Yep. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll see y'all next week. Bye.